Hi, my name is Michael Jacobs. We all know that some of the terms and some of the ideas in golf science can be pretty difficult to understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a coaching playbook where you can learn some of the basics about some of these terms and what they mean for your golf game and your swing. We're going to start off today with the concept of linear momentum and we're going to look at how some of that analysis can give you a better picture of how to swing a club for more consistent results. So let's take a look. So we're looking at a graphic that Dr. Nesbitt designed for me for my Jacobs 3D software. And we're looking at a golfer from the target and that golfer is at the point of impact. So the ball's already been hit and on its way. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, lines, different colors, and some different segments of the body. Uh, so let's take a quick look and let me explain this to you and give you a quick little thing that you can take with you next time you go out to the driving range or course. So clearly this is the club. You can see the golfer's arms and then you can start to see segments of the body, legs and feet. So what we've done is we've taken, this is a professional golfer, a major winner, hitting a driver. And what we've done is we've created from the 3D motion capture a model of them where Dr. Nesbitt has been able to put together a mechanical analysis so we can tell you exactly what's taking place inside the body, both at inside the joints of the body and how the joints move together with the club to give you probably the most complete analysis that's ever been created. So we're super excited about that. All right, these lines and linear momentum, what does it mean? Well, easiest way to think of linear momentum is moving mass. So, for example, the golf club has a certain amount of mass to it. And when we look at the linear momentum of it, it's the mass times the velocity. So it's the mass of the club times its velocity. It gives us an idea of the movement of the mass. Now, what's interesting when we look at the different parts of this golfer's body is we can look at the club, and then we have the right hand and the left hand. And what you'll notice is the arrow is denoting the magnitude and the direction of the linear momentum at that time. And what I want you to take note of is that the arrows are moving in a certain way that would prove that the hands of the golfer and the club of the golfer are definitely curving through the hit. So when you look at the direction that these arrows are moving in, you could see that the moving mass is continuing to curve around. Now, why is this important? Well, to me, one of the biggest things I've seen golfers come uh, and think about when they're hitting a golf shot during a lesson is they've, they've thought that they should try to swing down the line or try to steer the ball straight. Uh, one of my students calls it their safety swing where they really try to uh, you know, steer a ball straight, but what you're going to notice is, is that the moving mass, the linear momentum of both hands and the club itself is definitely not down a so-called target line. That the mass is moving in what would clearly show a curving direction as it moves around. So what you're looking at now is all the different segments of the body. We have obviously the hands, we have the wrists, we have the two different uh, parts of the arms, upper and lower arms of the right and left. We have a head, neck, chest, abdomen, pelvis, legs, and feet. And over the time, over the course of the next few years, we're going to show you exactly what's happening in all these different segments. But for a good start off point is just take note of where the arrows of each segment are going and the length of that arrow. And that's going to tell you where the linear momentum is at this point.